Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, for holding this hearing. And before I begin my statement, just a uh, uh, comment, no disagreement with the statistics you use in regard to 4% of our population and 20% of uh, our, our imprisonment is greater than any other society. I, uh, just a question that I don't expect you to answer, and maybe there's no answer to it, but do those uh, figures include the Uyghurs, uh, millions of Uyghurs that the Chinese have in prison in their concentration camps. That's I'd a like, good point. I'd like to have, see if we could find an answer to that. Drug sentencing laws are complex. They must be fair and they must be just. But prioritizing public safety is very important. As such, they can't be based only on violent crime risk prevention efforts, or racial justice concerns. They must be comprehensive. This is particularly true as we evaluate today's topic, sentencing laws on crack and powder cocaine. I've been a partner on this issue in the past. You've uh, recognized that today, and I appreciate that. I've indicated my openness to reevaluating the sentencing disparity between crack and powder cocaine, but I do have some questions about how to best do this. There are discrepancies between crack and powder cocaine in terms of recidivism rates, addiction, and violent crime. These factors can't be ignored. I'm hopeful today's testimony will touch on these aspects but I believe a comprehensive consensus hearing on cocaine certainly would have highlighted these nuanced points. I asked Chairman Durbin for a comprehensive hearing on cocaine so that we can have a complete understanding of all these issues. I wanted a consensus hearing, meaning that everything was agreed upon and that there were no minority or majority witnesses. Uh, but that's uh, not how this hearing unfolded. Today's hearing isn't consensus, nor is it as comprehensive as it should be. Instead, this hearing is focused only on sentencing issues, particularly in de deference to the Equal Act. And I have told people that I'm willing to look at uh, some sort of reduction in the disparity that exists today. I'm disappointed that my request for a comprehensive hearing on cocaine was dismissed, particularly since I've supported efforts to review crack and powder cocaine sentencing issues in the past. I co-sponsored the Fair Sentencing Act, which changed the 101 to 1 sentencing ratio for crack and powder cocaine to where it is today, 18 to 1. I supported this change uh, being made retroactive in the First Step Act. I joined an amicus brief submitted to the Supreme Court to review the ap ap after applicability of this provision, and I co-sponsored the First Step Implementation Act, which further allows for retroactive review and application of cocaine sentencing. We've accomplished a lot in this area already, and maybe there's more that can be done, and I've already indicated my willingness to talk about those things. So today's hearing is likely the first of many steps on cocaine sentencing because there's still a lot that we need to know. Today's government panel, for instance, shines a light on the vacuum of information Congress is operating in. The Department of Justice submitted a statement for the record in support of the Equal Act. The Biden Justice Department Support for this bill isn't surprising. It's the same position as the Obama administration. But nobody from the Justice Department is here to testify. DOJ's absence makes it hard to fully evaluate and understand the scope and impact of changing the law. And while the United States Sentencing Commission has released excellent reports on federal drug sentencing laws, its most recent comprehensive report on cocaine sentencing was as far back as 2007. 
Also, the last time the Sentencing Commission testified before the Senate on this issue was way back 2009. At that time, they stated the sentencing ratio of crack and powder cocaine shouldn't be higher than 20 to 1. It's currently at 18 to 1. So, where does all this leave us now? I'm worried we're barreling down legislation without a complete picture of the issue or the necessary government witnesses before us today. I'm nonetheless looking forward to hearing this hearing, learning as much as I can, and discussing steps forward, and I'd like to be involved in those steps forward. I hope the future of this discussion will highlight a variety of perspectives and be more collaborative as we seek to find a solution together. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Grassley. Um, our work together is um, a body of work which 